This is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our monthly Tarot reading for the month of August, and this will be for the sign of Gemini. And as I shuffle the deck, I ask that all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, we'll take the top card. For the middle of the month, I'll pull a card from the middle. And for the end of the month, we'll take the bottom card. Oh, we don't want this bottom card. It's just the insert. <laughs> I think the angels are playing tricks with me here. Take the bottom card. Okay, there's a real card. Okay, Gemini. So what's up for us for, and I say us because I'm a Gemini, and very interested in uh, all of the aspects of Gemini, including this reading. Uh, this reading is personal to me as well as all of you fellow Geminis out there. So let's see what the energy is for the month of August. Okay, we have the first card. Okay, and it is card number 17. And it's a very beautiful angel kneeling down. Okay, and when I look at this card, uh, this card to me, what I get from Spirit, uh, let me see, I'm just... What I really feel, well, first of all, this is the star card. Let me say that. And, of course, you notice the stars in the background and the moon. Very beautiful card. It's like twilight. And with the star card, okay, it's telling us not to lose hope. Okay, not to give up. Something will take place in the month of August where you may want to feel like throwing in the towel, I guess, in the beginning of the month. Even when all is lost. You have to realize that there is still hope that something new could come of it. In uh, this picture, uh, she is pouring water. This beautiful angel is pouring water, okay, out of these uh, cups here. Okay, and it's a very, whenever I see water, I think of emotions. So this is going to be emotional for you in the beginning of August. Something is going to feel like you've maybe hit a roadblock, maybe had some type of a setback. But the star card is letting you know that even when something seems so awful and so bad, something good will come out of it. To not lose faith. Not lose faith. Something new, okay, is about to emerge. So don't feel in the beginning of the month that all is lost. And then in the middle of the month, okay, we have card number nine, okay? And with this card number nine, what this says to me, well, of course, it's the hermit, okay? And he's holding his lantern. He's in deep thought. He's looking up towards the heavens, beautiful clouds in the background. And the hermit is basically the seeker of wisdom. That's what he's known for. And he has that lantern because he's, he's lighting up whatever situation it is that's going on. He's illuminating it, okay? He's, he's looking within. He's maybe meditating. He's getting some quiet time for himself. He's trying to shed some light on the situation. That's what I get from this lantern. The rest of the card's dark, except the skies are up here. They're bright, and the lantern's here. And when I look at him, I'm thinking that during the middle of August, we need to go within. We need to meditate. We need to have some quiet time. We need to think things through. We need to have some alone time during the middle of the month. And contemplate whatever it is here that you feel is so hopeless or maybe a done deal. Sit back and contemplate on it. Think about it. Meditate on it. Don't take any action. Okay? The hermit's not about taking action. However, he is thinking what he's going to do uh, based on what knowledge he has, what he's learned, what his lessons have been through whatever he's going through. And then by the end of the month, okay, we have this beautiful angel here. Uh, beautiful purple wings. Uh, beautiful table with a pedestal. It's a little bit of a brighter card, but of course it has the dark background. And this card, uh, card number one, is known as the magician in the tarot. And this magician is letting you know that anything is possible. 
and you have the power within you, okay, but you have to work for it. And it's letting us know that we're not experts. This is the very beginning, the very beginning of a journey. It's the very beginning of something new. So maybe a situation that took place in the beginning, you thought you knew it all, you thought you had all the knowledge that you needed, sat back and thought about it, and then you realized you might have to study up on something. You might have to dig deep for information to get you where you need to go. Maybe take a few classes in something. Maybe consult uh, maybe a mentor or someone who is trying to do what you're trying to do in life. Somebody with life experience. And uh, this card is asking us, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you think is possible? So you come out of deep reflection in the middle of the month and you're ready. You're ready to do what needs to be done. You're beginning something or maybe you're starting something over and taking more time to pay attention to the details and, and give it a better go this time. But don't let this month get you down. We all go through this. Most important thing is don't lose hope. Have some quiet time. Sit in meditation. Think things through. Go within. Okay. Search for the wisdom and knowledge that you need to start making your magic here at the end of the month. Gemini sometimes get derailed a little here and there, but they always get back on track. I think the problem with us is we move too quickly. We don't look before we leap. And I think that may be a classic example of what's going on in August. We didn't look before we leaped. We jumped in maybe. Now we feel like maybe we shouldn't have done something. Maybe, you know, we could have taken a better approach if we were a little bit more cautious. But we think about it. We realize what was done, what we need to improve. We went within, and then we're ready again. Ready to start off all brand new at the end of August. So don't let it get you down. Things will look up. Take this moment to go within. Go within in the month of August. Think about what you need to do and then start applying it at the end of the month. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.